Oh, hey y'all, how's it going, Fatty here? Hope you're having a wonderful day, I know I am, and today I'm gonna show you how to get Black Pearls in Ark Survival Ascended. And today I'm gonna, you know, teach you guys just the, the only few little bit of resources to be able to get it, and actually how to accomplish those steps to get it, because in the island there's not a lot of ways to get Black Pearls. There's really only three different ways you can get them. That's from killing trilobites which you can find on beaches anywhere you kind of um spawn up they're oftentimes just found on like the shores of the water even in the arctic to all the way to like by red on as well as killing you cryptids which are going to be found really deep in the water and killing two so those are the only three ways but if you guys don't just want to just you know if that's not enough information for you guys just to go on and do your own thing i'm going to show you how to tame a two so where to find like the basic eucryptids and trilobites at the start as well as how to get the two so and then where to go to find Tussos as well. So if that interests you, you just want to stick around. Still here? Awesome. So what I like to do when starting this journey is go get some Black Pearls started just so whenever you do find your Tuso, you're ready to go. Now you can tame a Megalodon first. I would recommend that. Uh, they're decently tanky, so the Tussos aren't going to kill them grabbing them. So you could come kill you Cryptids with just that as well, just to kind of get going. Um, when you do, either harvest it with your pike or your pickaxe or the shark as well. Um, but here on the screen, in just a second, I will show the cords um, for these eucryptids. When you do find the eucryptids, it's going to be at 26.1. It's going to be at 26.198.9. Now, this is where I tend to find a ton of them really easily. So this is just where I would start. Now, when you do get them, then the next part is going to be kind of the hardest part of it is, and it's just going to be finding a Tuso. Now, when you're actually looking and exploring to find a Tuso, they can spawn in um, not a ton of different spots, but what I found to be the most common spots is um, when you look around the map on the very outside skirt or edges, like the skirt, outskirts of it, you're going to see like a darker little part of the water. That dark part of the water is going to be like the deepest area, and that's where they're going to be found. Now, for me personally, I went from about where Green Knob is and circled all the way over to the top uh, northwest corner where the iceberg is, and I did not see any until I got near that iceberg, and then I ended up finding three different ones. So when you do get over there, what you want to do is just let the shark grab it. I would... When you're looking for Tussos, it's also incredibly dark. I don't know if this is just my single player world or the time of day that I was doing this, but it was incredibly dark. I could barely see. There was little, literal parts where it was just black around me. So what I tended to do was ride my Megalodon through the dark and then just kind of pause when I got to about half stam or just a decent way and then just let my stam refill. In that dark, you're going to see a ton of things coming at you. So just be aware. You don't want to be like surrounded by Megalodons or other things that are going to get, get you killed. So that way you can kind of pick off what you need. Megalodons are great at attacking, they have a bleed, so it really just shreds through stuff. And if you have a second shark that follows you, it's never gonna hurt as well. So just take those pauses. But like I said, once I got over to where the iceberg is in that Northwest, there were so many over there compared to everywhere else I looked. But they can spawn anywhere along that outskirt. And now I am doing like, I believe my single player is set to one X. So like a Eucryptid when I was piking it was giving me one, I killed a couple two uh, with the two so's. It was giving me like five. But when I killed a single two so, it was giving me about 36 to 38. So if you're in a boosted server, you're going to be getting a lot more than that. But that is going to be really the best way to farm as many black pearls as you need to. So I'd go there just to find your first two so as well. And that's where I generally would just kind of look. Like I said, every server is going to be a little bit different, especially if they mess with spawns at all. But that's where I would go every time is just put a little base over there, a little underground spot where you can just kind of store your two so and they put like an ichthy out there on a boat because then you could just kind of store your stuff on a boat with that ichthy go down to where you need to for that two so kind of like that. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but that is going to be the best farming method possible as well as there's going to be red drops around those like outside edges as well the underwater water loot crates. So if you're just kind of hugging the map, I want to hug it right at the edge wall. I would kind of stay a little bit further away. Um, they kind of tend to, I would say like a two so length away from the border world is as close as I've ever seen one. So if you're kind of driving around that way you're gonna have a better chance of kind of spotting on them or them spotting you as well because you don't want to like just push yourself up against a wall because then there's not that spawn distance on that side i hope this guys helps uh yeah, if it does or if you guys need any more guides please let me know it in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace